Okay guys, this is just going to be a quick unboxing and setup video of the new MacBook Pro from Apple. This is the maxed out 15 inch with touch bar. Uh, one of the first ordered, one of the first delivered today. We're going to go ahead and open the box. Right out of the box. The box design differs from the previous MacBooks in that it doesn't have the four corner posts. It does have this new built in cardboard bridges though. They do seem to keep it pretty stable. The box design looks very similar to previous MacBooks with the uh, pull off top. Let's go ahead and open it up. going to use There it is. I'm going to flip it upside down and let gravity pull it out for me. There it is. As with similar models previous to this, there's a pull-out tab, but this is covered in a uh, matte plastic rather than a clear plastic of the previous MacBooks to date. And there it is. It is beautiful. Two ports, two ports and a headphone jack, space gray model. It's gorgeous. What else do we have in the box? USB-C power cable and a USB-C power brick. Love, love this upgrade. Gone through so many Apple power bricks over the years. This will mean that just the cables will die if they die at all. Absolutely beautiful. Do we still get Apple stickers? The answer is yes we do, but they keep getting smaller. Also in here we have the MacBook Pro and of course your safety warnings. Go ahead and turn it on. Man, it is beautiful. It feels so much thinner and lighter than the previous retinas. Still got the covering over the screen, except it automatically turns itself on. That's cool. First things we get are to use English as the main language. Press the return key. The touch bar is lit up with volume. I'm not getting any response from that. I, does, I, I do see that it's being pressed, but nothing off of that. Keys feel fantastic. And look at the size of this touchpad. Let's go ahead and go through some of the setup here. I'm going to skip through this part so we can look at some of the features. The keys have a weird um, clicky sound to them that... I don't know, it sounds hollow almost. Agree to the terms and conditions. It's taking a long time to set up my iCloud account.
weird to not click a button. Well, it seems like this brand new MacBook might be stuck on setting up iCloud account from scratch. I'm not sure if this is a bug. It's not internet related. There it goes. Took a good almost two minutes. I use Dropbox and no. Now we get this touch ID set up. It's wanting me to touch my finger. There it goes. Continue. Touch ID is ready. Apple Pay. It's going to automatically set up my Apple Pay for my Apple ID. This feels a lot more like going through an iPhone setup now than a computer setup. There she is. That screen looks so beautiful. Let's go ahead and click system preferences. Notice I've got a show all button now. Oh, I think that's because I'm in system preferences. I want to touch the screen just now. What's the weather today? Here's the weather today. Cool. Me a button immediately available. It's a it's a retina display. I mean, look at the quality on. Uh, oh, it's really high resolution. Touch ID sensor looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and lock the computer. Uh, sleep. Okay, well apparently we need to set it to lock instantly. Immediately. And we're back. Touch my finger, instantly unlocked. That is so cool. This functionality of our iPhones now on our computers. Let me go into system preferences and set up the. Really quick, I just want to see. Looks like. So you have to click on that, but it's not that hard to click on. Even from over to the left of it a little bit, you can still click it. Cool. Don't get any uh, tactile feedback, but I guess you really don't need it you have visual feedback. Let's see what the sound sounds like. <laughs> iTunes Store? No. Go to the iTunes Store. Let's go to Music. 
trap songs. I don't know if you can tell on the video, but that it sounds really good. It sounds fantastic. It's a lot louder than the previous MacBooks, and it's crisp and clear. Apple did a great job with the speakers on this. Well, I just hit play again to start it back up, and iTunes crashed. iTunes has quit unexpectedly. That's always a good sign. Probably, probably haven't updated it for the touch bar. That's cool. Let's go ahead and customize the touch bar really quick. I've got this whole touch ID section here. So you can add multiple fingerprints, choose what you use it for. It's exactly what I would expect from Apple. Nice clean interface, simple, easy to use. Now where are my touch bar settings? Customize control strip. You're presented with this nice view here. I'm going to choose. I don't need, well, really quick, let me. It is hard. My first inclination is to touch the screen. I know Apple said that's not a thing, but it, it really could be. When you're touching right here, it's almost first nature to just reach up and touch the screen rather than using the, the mouse. So this is my app expose. That's my open apps button. I'm going to get rid of that one. I don't need that one. And keyboard customize control strip. Instead, I'm going to put a Do Not Disturb button, again, trying to touch it and drag it down. So when you move your mouse down here, this selects it and you can pull it out. Ooh, screen lock. That's, a, uh, that's handy on my desktops, less handy on my laptop. I'm going to do not disturb. A dashboard button. Oh, well, let me do that. I'm going to go ahead and put dictation instead of app expose. Ooh, I could actually replace one of these with a brightness slider. And still put the... Mission Control. Interesting. Very cool. Now let's look at my brightness slider. Huh. Well, it looks like I found a bug. Apparently if you press the brightness slider and it's all the way to the left, it bugs out and you can't go down. Let me try moving that over a bit. Brightness slider. Let me move you this way. Say done. Now let me try it. 
Yeah, so it's definitely just a bug. It's probably supposed to be over here. You just bring this guy all the way over here. Done. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to see. Very cool. Do not disturb mode is on. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've covered the uh, basics of the new features on the new MacBook Pro. Let's give it a once over again. Really is beautiful. Apple did a great job. I'm going to be excited to use it and see how it performs. Thanks for watching.